I want to show you how an operations project manager might use Copilot in Microsoft 365. We're going to look at how you can use Copilot inside a number of different Microsoft 365 applications. We'll look at Outlook, we'll look at Teams, we'll look at Excel and Whiteboard, and also PowerPoint. So let's get started. Terry is starting her day as a project manager by looking at Outlook. And what she wants to do is summarize all the information about a project in Outlook. We're going to use Copilot for that. So let's go ahead and do that. You'll see that Copilot suggests a number of prompts. The prompts are key to getting Copilot to give you the information that you're looking for. And here I've got a simple one. I'm looking to summarize information about projects. I start a Copilot. It's looking at all the information in my Microsoft 365 instance. You can see it brings up a number of things here. So let's take a look at them. One thing I like about Copilot is it not only gives you the information, but it gives you a link to the source of that information. So let's take a look at this Word document here. This is an outline of a change management and readiness program. And we're going to take a look at this later on. And this is a project in Excel. We're going to use Copilot to suggest some different columns here and calculations. So let's get started with that. And here I'm in Teams. I've made some notes to myself. I'm going to save this here in Teams, but I can also use Copilot to access other information about a particular subject. Go to Copilot. So I put it in the simple prompt again. Let's go ahead and run that. And this gives me even more information. It gives me information about emails about the project, team messages about projects, plus the documents that we previously looked at. So Terry has gotten her day off to a good start. She's looked at Outlook, she's looked at Teams, she's gotten information from Copilot about everything related to projects. So let's take a look at the project itself in Excel. So I'm in Excel, I'm going to use Copilot to enhance how this project looks in Excel. Let's go to Copilot. So let's take this prompt suggestion from Copilot and use that. What I like about Copilot in Excel is that it will suggest changes to columns or formulas but it won't actually make the changes until you agree. So here you can see it suggested this column here. Let's add that column. Let's insert the column right here. This is really nice. This can save me some time. If you're not really great with Excel, this can save you a lot of time. Let's add another simple one. Let's look at insights from Copilot and put it in the form of charts. So it's done two things here. It's created a chart. We can add that to the new sheet. It adds it there. I've got the information and I've got the chart. Here's a pivot table on it. This makes it real easy to get information from your Excel spreadsheet and display it in a different way. Maybe something that adds additional insight to that information. So Copilot in Excel is very powerful. I can add columns, I can add formulas, I can also gain additional insights into the data right from Excel. Next, let's look at a brainstorming session that Terry had with her group. And they're gonna use Whiteboard to do this. So we'll take a look at Whiteboard in Microsoft 365 and we'll make it a little easier to look at with Copilot. So Whiteboard is excellent for brainstorming. It allows individual participants in the Whiteboard session to put ideas on the Whiteboard and get an idea of what's important to the team and to the project. But when you look at this, you go, well, it's not organized very well. I can move things around, right? I can do that, I can do it manually. But do you really wanna do that? Probably not. Let's use Copilot to make more sense out of this. So go to Copilot down here at the bottom and we're gonna categorize this. Now this is much more useful, right? This is a good discussion tool. I can take this, show it with a management team, and they'll have a better idea of what we're working on. It also allows us as team members to look at it and say, well, maybe we should add something here, maybe we should take something away. You can easily do this in Whiteboard and have Copilot rearrange it for you. Next, what I wanna do is show you Copilot with PowerPoint. We previously looked at a plan for change management and readiness. So let's take that, let's turn it into a PowerPoint presentation. We have a blank presentation in PowerPoint. And what I'm gonna do is use Copilot to look at the previous Word document we had about readiness and change management and create a deck for me. 
So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to use this prompt here. And then I've got this information in SharePoint. I'm going to copy the link here. Paste that down here in the prompt. And then let Copilot do its thing. It's going to analyze that Word document. It's going to organize a little bit, make a presentation out of it. And here's a presentation generated by Copilot based on that Word document. It has not only nice slides here, you can see the individual slides. It's taking that information, it's adding images, it's formatting it, but it's also adding speaker notes. I can move that up here. We can see the speaker notes that it automatically adds. You probably don't want to just take this and run into a meeting, but it's a very good way to start on a presentation. So you get an idea of what it might look like. You can make changes here and there, take slides away, add slides. And again, it's a big time saver if you're making a presentation. So we took a look at how Terry, a project manager in the operations area, might use Copilot to speed up her day, get better information out of her data, and make it better to present to people on her team and also her management team. Copilot's a great time saver. You should really take a look at it. If you're ready to deploy Copilot in Microsoft 365, download our free guide with the link in our video description.